It's model 559 for your review, Gail Williams. Boy, robot cat. <laughs> <laughs> Robo cat. <laughs> so uh, we got this uh, Capresso, just it's yep. called the coffee burr grinder. grinder. Yep. Not, it's uh, got like nine settings over here for your grinding selection. And then up here is the off button, and then you can push this over to get various mm. volumes. Volumes. And then this is the on off. Yeah, so okay. I have it plugged in, and uh, we're gonna try it. You what want, did you? Did you? Can you pull out the burrs? Sure, sure I can. Before we get them dirty, we can show them off. So we're saying they're Wet flat ceramic. ceramics. I think it's ceramic. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, okay. Yeah. Ceramic on the bottom too. Cool. This is not anti-static plastic, just for your own. Yeah, and they have some tips some on tips. how to battle that. Yeah. Tap tap tap. Wait a few seconds. Stand on one leg. Preferably your left. Sing um, Ave Maria. <laughs> um, so the thing is, though, Gail, is that in the instructions, they do specify, hey, you can technically use this on a pressurized espresso, espresso. machine. And they so, specifically talk about the machines yeah. that they manufacture that this will work with. Them. Yeah, and then other so. ones that have pressurized baskets or porta filters. Um, so that tells me it's going to, you know, not grind as fine as some, but... You didn't show off the best feature, Gail. Oh, the brush. <laughs> <laughs> Put on my it's mascara. So oh, here. No, wait a minute. Yeah, comb those unruly brows. Yeah. Okay, so we put some Zoka coffee in there, medium roast. Let's see what it does. Let's set it on eh, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Just as, I don't know. You know, what do I know? We got your static going on. So it said to wait a couple of seconds and then tap the back of the machine <laughs> to knock it down, settle it in. Oh, Come on out of there. Money. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong leg. I can see already it's got a static situation going on. Of okay. course, that's a medium it. roast. I mean a medium grind. That was at uh, around uh, six and a half or yeah. so. Yeah, see? Here, you want to look at consistency? It's actually fairly chunky, consistent. Yeah. Wow, it looks your hand. <laughs> you have a mess. Don't get near me. Okay, I've, I've, I have, no. I've saved getting coffee on the <laughs> Yeah, right, exactly. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Let me go dump this and then we'll and take we'll it try a different grind? Yeah. Okay, we'll be right back. Get down to the finest Yeah, one. I'll get it done on one. Let's try right. it. Oh, that residue on the side. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Tap, tap, tap. Give it a pat on the back. Good job. Who's a good grinder? Yeah. Who is a good grinder? Okay. Oh, look at it jumping around still. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's alive. Not, yeah, I mean it's it is what it is. It's like know? a fine drip, so you yep. would have to use a pressurized uh, porta filter for that if fine. you want to do espresso. I'd say it's fine enough for a pressurized porta filter, and the consistency, yeah, you know, I think it's I think for the the price and the quality of what the thing is, it probably isn't. It's bad. not that bad actually. No. You know, it's it actually feels more consistent than the Infinity. Yeah, look at that. All you do is go like that, and the stuff is jumping all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's have a party. These are technically um, Javanese jumping beans. <laughs> <laughs> you need a Valium to slow you down. Exactly. <laughs> Don't we all, Gail? No. Thank you. <laughs> all right, see ya.